Hey, today we'll learn how not to use the this keyword for object methods, then we'll go to create the dynamic keys for objects, and at the end we'll remove the applications from an array. Okay, let's just start from the beginning. So we have here a sandwich, and what this sandwich will have as an ingredient, it will have egg. So let's just go for egg, then it will have cheese. Okay, let's just go here for cheese. Sorry, vegetarians. I need to add some vegetables, cheese. Then let's just go for cucumber. Let's just add cucumber. Okay, good. Now, what do you want to do exactly? Okay, first let's just console log this sandwich to see what we have here. So we have an object of three elements. This is the key and this is the value, egg, cheese, and cucumber. But what I want to do exactly is I want to create a methods to get only this egg and cucumber. Okay, let's just create it, get ingredients. And for that, I'll use an row function. And I will console log this egg, then this cucumber. Okay, let's just call this method get ingredient and get ingredients. So I'll use sandwich, then get ingredients. Get ingredients. Now as you see, I have n define it. Why I have n define it? Because normally I want to get into this egg value. And, a cu and cucumber, but I will have that from the result I have in it. And to show that, I will console log this. So let's just comment that. Let's just increase the size a little bit. As you see, I have a subternate value window. Why? Because when you are using an arrow function, in this case, this is an arrow function or ESX syntax, and this will behave differently. So you will have the window object instead of getting into this properties or instead of getting into the to the value of the content of the sandwich object right here. So how to solve this problem? To solve this problem, we'll use an uh, we'll use an anonymous function. Okay, let's just create the same function. Let's just create the same method, get ingredients. Then instead of an arrow function, I will use an anonymous function and we'll console log first this. And as you see here, so I have each element from the object, egg, cheese, cucumber, and the method get ingredients. But what I want to get is egg. Okay, let's just get egg and cucumber, and I get the values. So as you see the difference between using an arrow function, should this or this behave differently from the arrow function here when you are using it for the method get ingredients. And in this, it's returned the window object, but in other case, or in this other case, when you are using the anonymous function, so the return value here is it will get into the element or the content of the object. Okay, now let's just move on to the next example. What I want to do exactly is I want to have create, I want to make or bake a cake. Okay, let's just go for cake. Create it as an object. Or what this cake will have as an ingredient, the first thing, I'm not sure of the liquid. Maybe it can be milk, maybe coffee or whatever, but let's just stick to milk. Let's just stick to milk. And I'm not also sure what kind of fruit I will use. Okay, maybe apple, maybe strawberry, but let's just stick to apple. So I have two cons, liquid and fruit. Okay, let's just use that keyword here. And I want to use this, this cup of milk or this glass of milk right here as a key and this, this fruit of this apple right here as a key. So for that, I'll use cake, then liquid. And how many glasses of, of milk I want to use is times two. Okay, I'll just console log that. You will see that I have, okay, I, I need to comment that. Let's just go here, comment that out. So we have two glasses or two glasses of milk. And if we want to do the same thing for fruit, fruit, then I'll just four. So in this case, I have four apples. So you can change the values. You can go for strawberry as an example, and you can go for cup, coffee right here. So, and we are changing dynamically. Just go for coffee. We are changing dynamically the keys here. So we have, so this, this here, this content right here, will have a place liquid and this apple will place fruit. And this is what we want. We want to adjust this, this keys to be dynamic. 
or whoever the problem is not giving the values but the problem is that this this code right here is so repetitive because we need to use this cake multiple times then get into each value but to avoid this problem let's just use another presentation so we'll go for cake cake create the object cake then instead we'll use the brackets we'll use bracket here then liquid and we use the value what i do here is i just use this variable right here and put it inside the brackets and define uh, i'm just defining for this object right here that this is a key and i'm using this value i'm using this variable right here or the value of this variable right here so liquid will be replaced with that okay let's just go for the next one and i will use fruit i just go for four and i'm getting the same result and this is well structured and this is how we can refactor this code right here to be less repetitive and to be more logical because reading that so it means that i have an object and inside an object that i have some keys and the keys they are dynamic and it's it's easy to read okay let's just now move on to the next one okay i'll comment that out again and and comment that now how to remove duplication from an array but first let's just create an array of animals and what this array of animals will have let's just go for co okay co then i'll go for a monkey and then i go for a lion and the last one let's just go for a rabbit and i will duplicate this co multiple times and let's just duplicate this rabbit also Okay, let's just console log animals. As we see here, I have seven items or seven elements, but I have some repetitions. So we have one, two, three cows, and they have one monkey, one lion, and two rabbits. And I wanted to use this, this, this values of this items to be, and I wanted this animals array to be unique. And for that, let's just create a unique const unique animals. And I have, I can use the constructor new set then I use as an argument, the set uses an argument animals. And what this constructor will do exactly, so console log unique animals. And you will see that I have a returned value as a returned value, an object with only four items. And I'm not having duplications. I only have one co, one monkey, one lion, and one rabbit. Okay, the result is good. But the problem is this this value right here is not an is not an array is an object but i want but the returned value that i want is an array not an object okay so if you want to check for that you can use the array constructor then there is array method and so i'll tell you that this is an array but let's just go for the is unique to find that okay and we, okay i forget that this is not an array. I, I'm giving false because this array is arrays of a children and a boolean true or false. So in our case, it's returning that this animals right here is an array because it is an array, but this one is not. Okay, how to convert the returned value? This returned value should be an array. So for that, we'll use the array from. Okay, array from. Then it will get into each element from the object and put it our specific index now we have an array instead of an object an array of four items this is the first one that include repetitions or duplications and this is the, and this is the second one that doesn't include duplications and this is a way on how we can remove repeated elements from an array okay that's it my hope um i hope i explained things correctly and if you have any question, if you have any question, or if you, or if you already use some other function that give you the same results, please, please let me know that in this in the comment section. Thanks.